Hey, this is Shelly with Who's Up Hedge, and today I have Jessica Miller, and we're just going to chat a little bit. All right. So how long have you been in Hedge, Jessica? I actually was figuring this out before I, I came today. I had a hunch that might be a question. And I <laughs> have been here since February of 2004, so about six and a half years. So oh, plenty of time to get to know the place. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, prior to moving here, I didn't grow up coming to Hutch a lot. I came to the State Fair a couple of times. So sure. I didn't have a real um, idea about the community, but it's changed a lot in six and a half years. Yeah, it sure has. So what brought you here? Um, my husband is the reason that I moved here. We got engaged, and he um, works for Sunflower Electric, which mm -hmm. is his family's um, electrical wholesale supply oh, company. Sure. And so um, I found a job here, and I've been here since. Wonderful. So what is your favorite thing to do here in Hatch? My favorite thing to do, um, that really changes. Um, sure. Obviously the fair was one of the first things that I was introduced to. Um, the Jim Martinez trail was another thing that I just thought was really, really neat about right. the community, that you have this trail that you could get out on. And I remember telling my mom, you can go from the Rice Park all the way back and it's 11 miles. Um, <laughs> so I love that. but. You know, Third Thursdays has been something new that I really enjoy. Right. Um, Those are awesome. I've had the chance to plan some really cool events, like the Sand Plum Bicycle Classic and the 5K Trail mm -hmm. and Treat that's coming up. So those are things that I look forward to. But really, even more um, so since you get to help be exactly. a part of planning them. Yeah, yeah, oh, cool. exactly. <laughs> um, but I also love young professionals and, and mm -hmm. all the things going on with that. I, I like being a part of that organization. Right. I like the Raz. I had lunch there today. <laughs> Raz is awesome. I love the Raz. <laughs> it's excellent. Excellent fresh food. And I really like to go there. So do you have any extended family here? Just your husband? I don't. I don't. I would love to have my grandmother here, mm -hmm. um, but she refuses to come. And oh, no. I'm hopeful that my sister and nephew will move here. He's two and a half now, so I figure I have two and a half years um, to try and get them here until it's time for him to go to kindergarten. And hopefully go to a uh, school in Reno County. That would be great. Yeah, well, we'll see. <laughs> so, so do you think you've made any headway getting them here? Yes, I do. Oh, I do. Awesome. I think it's just a matter of time and, and the right Good. things falling into place, and hopefully I'll have my sister and, and nephew great. here. Awesome. That'd be great. So what is your favorite Hutch memory? My favorite Hutch memory? We had so much fun the first year of Tech Hops, mm -hmm. and that was for us really one of the first times that we had really been out and among a lot of people in downtown Hutchinson, and we went with a couple of friends, and that was a real turning point for us, just socially and, and in terms of how we thought about our community, and we instantly thought, oh my gosh, we have to tell our friends from Kansas City, and, and this will be a weekend that we'll want them to come down so we can go and, and do this, and um, that was just a real turning point for Bryce and I. Um, and then another favorite memory of mine will be hosting the Kansas Young Professional Summit in April and just having done that for the first time and, and spending that day. And then those of us that had organized it left um, the, the conference at the end of the day and, and went downtown for Third Thursday and tasted. and. We were just totally exhausted, but on um, a real high yeah. for what we had accomplished and, and the remarkable day that it was. Yeah. So um, that was another really, really good memory for me. Well, you've done some awesome things here, so <laughs> that, <laughs> that's you. really, you know, the, that's one of the really nice things, and, and we're planning to do that again, right? Yes. Um, in fact, the date is April 21st for 2011, and we're getting a head start last year. We had to wait for the governor to confirm that he could come, so we essentially um, had a 60-day window to put that together. So it's nice to be knowing that we have a date in September of 2010 for an event in 2011 and are able to start making progress on planning it. So Gives we have, you a we'll have double, time. Time, double the people and That'd just as much wonderful. Time. So if you could change anything at all about Hutchinson, what would you change and why? Oh, we would absolutely have um, a countywide connected um, hike and bike trails and a greater capacity to move around on bike or by foot. Our children could walk to school on at the very least sidewalks. So 
Um, without a doubt, if I could change anything, it would be that we would have the, the funding and the support for um, a hike and bike trail system in, in the county. That so would be great. Be, so. Well, thank you very much for coming by and chatting with me. Thank you. Thanks for me. having me. I'm glad to be here.